So recently, Wendy's came out with a new logo. Uh, they wanted to jazz things up a little bit, you know, make things new and exciting. And some people felt that the new logo included a subliminal message. So let's take a quick look at the new logo. And if you pay close attention to the collar, you'll notice that it kind of looks like it says mom. You know, I would have never noticed this in a million years if you hadn't pointed it out. But then I was going by Wendy's after I read the story and I was like, oh, I see it. There's the M in the blue, right? And then there's the O, obviously, in the necklace, a circular part in the middle, and then M, Ma. And then you wonder, did they do it on purpose? Right. Now, Wendy says that they did not do it on purpose, that it is not a subliminal message. But those arguing that it is a subliminal message claim that, well, if you see mom, you're going to think, oh, mom's home cooking. Like, you're going to feel, like, warm and fuzzy when you think of Wendy's, which is ridiculous. Uh, but, okay. <laughs> but, no, but actually, there's no harm in that. I mean, no. uh, if Wendy's did that, I'd say, have at it, hoss. You know, yeah. good for you. That's actually smart. Yeah. And, and I... Let me just say, I, like out of all the fast food restaurants, I think I might like Wendy, Wendy's the most. Yeah, I like Wendy's a lot yeah, too. Yeah, it's really yeah. delicious. They got the square buns and I mean the square meat and everything. Yeah, and it <laughs> kind of reminds me of my mom's cooking. Does it? <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> all right, now other logos. So there's the Amazon logo. All right, so you see the smiley face, everybody sees it. Okay, it's like a nice little touch, etc. But did you notice that it also goes from A to Z? So what they're saying is, we've got everything you're going to want here from A to Z. So it's just a double meaning. None of these are nefarious. They're just kind of clever. Yeah. In FedEx, you see between the E and the X, there's an arrow, which I never noticed. Me either. It's kind of incredible. Like you see these logos all the time, and you never really take a moment to analyze what it's about. And the arrow gives you a sense of speed going forward. And it gives you a subliminal thought that, oh my god, if I give it to FedEx, it's going to go really fast. Clever logo. In fact, I'm thinking of trying to put some sort of subliminal thing into TYT that says, ooh, watch this all the time. We're edgy and cool. <laughs> There's so many of the things that I love here. You see Goodwill, and you see the smiley face, of course, up top. But did you ever notice that the G is the same as the smiley face up top? Yeah. Look, maybe some of you noticed this. <laughs> yeah, Anna's apparently totally into it. Oh yeah, goodwill, yeah. No, right. it's just incredible. It's good design. I it really appreciate is. good design. I tostitos. Love design. Yeah. Okay. So no, say it correctly. It's tostitos. Okay, tostitos. <laughs> so uh, this one is more obvious. So I'm sure some of you have seen it, but I never noticed that the two T's were two guys enjoying nachos. I like the article that we read said enjoying Mexican food. I'm like or perhaps eat the nachos that are in the back. <laughs> and uh, the eye has, of course, the, the, the salsa in it. And, uh, of course, they're enjoying it over the tit. <laughs> Whatever. T-I-T. -I, I don't know if that's part of the subliminal message. I but it does it. make it seem more delicious. Okay. No, I don't think that's part of it. Baskin Robbins. Yeah. The th the, what's in pink in the B and the R is the number 31, the 31 flavors. Yeah. Again, totally trippy, never noticed it. Now that I saw it, every time I go by a Baskin Robbins, I'm like, dude, I know you, I see you, dude. I see you, 31. You're not gonna get me with that. Slash, maybe you will. Capitalism done the right way. You know, subtle brainwash.